Hey YouTube, Matthew here once again with another video for you all and today I will be speaking on how to find good quality virtual assistants or VAs on online and so basically I use this is my main website I use Upwork, there's Fiverr, there's different things that you can uh, different sites that where you can find VAs and so right here on your Upwork account after you open an account this will kind of be your home page or they have their posting for your jobs and other different reports and so uh, when you want to find a freelancer without even posting a job you can just look at candidates before and so for example if you want to search for um, graphic designer as you can see I searched for it before you can type that in and then just press enter and now uh, Upwork is just populating different graphic designers that will probably match your style I don't exactly know how they rank them um, but yeah so you can see different ones here you see graphic designers you know they it costs a, quite a bit so for example when I'm looking at in different um, profiles I look at you know their per hour how much they earn their success rate is very important and kind of which country they're from and so like for example uh, Caleb right here you know he has a really good job success rate I mean his um, per hour rate is decent and so uh, and he's earned you know quite a bit so I know he's experienced on this platform and been working for other people uh, so I'll just click his um, profile right here and as this is loading up you see right here they have a short um, bio um, description right here showing his strengths um, and different jobs and so what I like to do is you see right here I like to look at the reviews he has mostly five stars he does a fantastic job very skilled knowledgeable you have his portfolio with different designs that he made uh, and yeah his skills and his tests you know and his employment history if you want to learn more about that but what I like to do is when I look at their profile I like to go straight to all work history and this shows me number one how many jobs are in progress now I don't want to hire somebody that's so busy that has so much jobs uh, and so I look at that and then number two um, I just look at um, how much they're paying him so with Upwork you can always negotiate prices with the virtual assistants and so even though he's advertising 46 an hour you can see that he just got hired for $35 this month per hour and so you can always negotiate per hour rate or just pay them a fixed rate you know for a specific job so if you want them to design a website you can be like okay I'll pay you a grand for to design this website or if they're designing multiple product photos okay I'll pay you this per hour and so always negotiate and so I I, I do not like to hire people with so many jobs and I think this person might be a little bit busy uh, but um, always look at that and so I'm just going to exit out of the profile, um, you know, just to look at other profiles. But if you have a job posting, you can say invite to job or hire or more or just save this person for later. So let's just exit out of here. And I'm going to show you new another feature here on Upwork. So what I like to do, I like to filter out different uh, candidates. And so for me, I like their English language, you know, level to be at least fluent. I like them to be somewhat experienced so I said 1k earned or more on Upwork and then of course 90% or up for their success rate now hourly rate um, that always you know just pick which one you want you know that if it's ten dollars below and the average average graphic designers are like 40 in an hour just consider that like the job or the quality might not be that good if you're doing ten dollars or below and so you just do different things I just like looking at all of them so I say any hourly rate or if I want to specify I might do like 30 to 60 which is probably average and then um, yeah when when were they um, last working within the past two months within the past two weeks and so um, different things like that um, um, yeah and so you know when you're clicking these uh, filters it automatically filters down here here and so yeah so for example this person from Venezuela 16 an hour which is pretty good 100% job 
success rate and earned 8k so she's doing extremely well and for not you know for a pretty decent price and so you can just look at her um you know her bio look at how many jobs she's working she's working on six jobs which is not that bad Local design, Spanish singer, you know, different things like that. And so that's how I find my um, um, VAs on um, Upwork. Now, I have a few on Fiverr, um, just different things. And so that's just the criteria I really look for for most of my VAs. I may uh, look at different criteria for somebody just that's just fulfilling orders. I may not care if they have a lot of experience, so to say, because I, you know, I can easily train somebody with that or um, just different things like that. Um, so, yeah, um, make sure you all subscribe and let me know if you all have any other questions. All right. Peace.